everyone to the Rangers opener pregame show. Now I'm here tonight with some very, very special guests. My colleagues here, I want to greet going across the way, Liz Sandals, our candidate. Yeah, Jennifer Bass for Kitchener Eric Davis, Kitchener Waterloo. Catherine McGarry from Cambridge. We have former MPPs Herb App and David Cook, former MPs Andrew Talenki and Karen Redmond. Council. Hello, Councillor Jeff Henry is here for the City of Waterloo. Louise Irvin's here who carried the banner for us last time. It's wonderful to see so many people out here tonight. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to win this thing. And we're going to win this thing for three reasons. First of all, because we have a wonderful story to tell about the last eight years. Second of all, because we have an even better story to tell about our plans for the next four years. Finally, because we have a great team with a great leader and the person of Premier Dalton McGuinty. Now I've had a chance to work closely with the Premier over the last eight years and the Premier has never made it a secret when he talks about the support that he gets from his family, particularly his wife, Terry. Support, which I think all of us would acknowledge, has been a big reason for our success over the last eight years. And that's why we are absolutely delighted that along with the Premier here tonight, we have an extra very special guest, his wife. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Terry McGinty. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I'm Terry McGinty, as you have heard. And just to be clear, Dalton McGinty is married to me. But you're married to him. Dalton is a wonderful husband and a terrific dad. He's truly committed to our family. And I want you to know that he is committed to all of our families. And for that, I am so proud of him. So, here he is, my husband, our leader, our premier, Dalton McGinty. Every day, I give thanks I'm not running against her. She's very good at taking me down a peg though on a regular basis, I should tell you. I've got a bus out there, we've been traveling the province together, it's got a big picture of my face. She says that it's scaring children and puppies. So I'm here with you people tonight to experience unconditional love. <laughs> Thank you so much all of you for joining us here this evening. You know, uh, being this many people inside a confined space reminds me of growing up the Ottawa Valley in a bedroom that I shared with three brothers. <laughs> On a hot summer night, it wasn't the heat that got to you, it was the humanity. <laughs> I want to uh, begin by uh, thanking my colleagues, MPPs, all candidates here today, for enlisting in our cause, which is the cause of all Ontario families, here, for, here. Understanding, for understanding that I know in politics we often talk about programs and budgets and policies and alike 
but fundamentally politics is about public service. It's the means by which we come together and at our best we not only do good things, we can do great things for each other. I want to thank all of these people standing beside me here for their commitment to public service in Ontario. Thank you very much. region we've done some great things uh, we've got a new school of pharmacy we got a new school of medicine we have invested in the perimeter institute yeah. Conestoga College is expanding to take over a bit in Cambridge right? yeah. and we've got the go train service coming here yeah. so you know what they call that where I come from a good start right? the people of Ontario have a very important decision before them, because there's a lot at stake in this election. They've got to decide whether we keep moving forward together or we turn backwards. Whether we stay on track or go off track. Ontarians know where you and I stand. We're for moving forward together. We're for staying on track. We've got a great plan. It's all about helping families in their homes right now and building a stronger economy that will support good jobs and fabulous public services. And the great news is we've got such a strong foundation of progress on which to build. Look at how far we've come in our schools. We've got smaller classes, higher test scores, higher graduation rates. We've got more young people going on to post-secondary education than ever before. John Malloy's a big part of that, too. What we need to do now, we need to keep moving forward together. So, we're going to build 60,000 more post-secondary spaces, we're going to build three new undergraduate university campuses, and this one I love. It's our most expensive commitment, but it's the smartest investment we can make in a shared, bright future. We're going to cut tuition by 30% for our low and middle income. they need to get the jobs that they want that's going to help us build a strong economy. And this is a personal matter to me, just to tell you a little bit about my background. My grandmother was married at the age of 16. She married a man who was 32. They both had their grade 8 education. And the reason that I'm standing before you here this evening as Premier of the greatest province in the best country in the world is because of great education in the province of yes. Ontario. Kindergarten to 250,000 four and five year olds. Yeah. Terry happens to be a uh, kindergarten teacher and she um, assesses my speeches on an ongoing basis. I prepared one for uh, a couple of days ago and she left a little note on it. Is this your best work? <laughs> That hurts, I tell you, it hurts. <laughs> Look at how far we've come in healthcare. 94% of Ontarians now have a family doctor. We have the longest surgical wait times. Now we've got the shortest surgical wait times in Canada. And we built 18 new hospitals. The last guys closed 28 hospitals. So now, of course, we need to keep moving forward together. We're going to dramatically reform health care for seniors. We're going to do something that they've been asking for for a long time. My mom says to me, see if you can find a way to, to allow me to live in my home for as long as I possibly can. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring back house calls. We're going to provide much more home care. We're creating a brand new tax credit, first of its kind, $1,000 up to $1,500 every year to allow our mothers and fathers and grandparents to make renovations to their homes to make that home more accessible, more safe, and more convenient for them. Now, look at how far we've come in the economy. Now the recession hit Ontario hard. It hit the world hard. 
Canada, relative to so many other places around the world, has been strong and steady and it's growing. Well, inside Ontario, inside Canada, you should know that since January, Ontario, representing 40% of the national population, has created 53% of Canada's full-time jobs. We're the leader in the country. And if you take a look at all of North America, and you take a look at foreign investment that sloshes around back and forth inside the global economy, looking for a place to invest, some place that's secure and steady and stable, after California, we're the most preferred destination in North America for foreign investment. And that's great because that means jobs. It means investments here and jobs. And here's the other thing you should know in terms of our record. Working together, we've kick-started an exciting new clean energy sector. And so far we've created right. 20,000 jobs. more foreign investment into Ontario because that means jobs. We're going to triple the number of successful innovative startup companies, the kind that flourish right here in this community. And our plan will ensure that Ontario is the North American leader in, clean, in the clean energy sector. Here's an interesting little tidbit for you. It costs about $70 to fill up your car with gas. Right? You know what it costs to fill it up with electricity in a car that'll go the same distance as 70 bucks for gas? $7. Wow. 70 versus 7. Now we're not going to get there overnight, but we have a choice. We can follow or we can lead. There's a couple things that we know for certain in an uncertain global economy. Number one, the price of oil and gas over time is only going one way. It's going up. There's something else we know too about technologies, their prices, they always go down. Think of the first flat screen TVs. Think of the first computers, right? Now if you buy a big mattress from the brick, they'll flow in and throw in a flat screen TV. <laughs> I've got five mattresses in the garage. Now. <laughs> Which is where I sometimes sleep. So I try to be good. You know, we call our plan forward together with good reason. The most important lessons you learn in life, you learn at home, and you probably learn them by the time you're eight or nine or ten years of age. Here's one that I learned. I got it from my dad. Nobody here is as strong as all of us. Nobody here is as smart as all of us. And if you and I and 13 million Ontarians are going to successfully compete and win in a very competitive global economy, we've got to work together. We've got to build together. We've got to dream together. That's been the foundation for our success in this province. Generation after generation has devoted themselves to working together and to building something better for our children. So now it falls to our generation to pick up where they left off. The other guys are not going to do it. The guys on the right have got a $14 billion hole in their plan that will lead to deep cuts to our hospitals and our schools and our environmental protections. The guys on the left have got $9 billion in job-killing taxes. That's not something that we can enjoy or afford in this uncertain global economy. So it's up to you and me. It's up to all of us to keep Ontario on track. So I'm going to ask you to do the best that you can, to fight as hard as you can. You need to get out there. Politics is still a very old-fashioned business. I know this is the age of social media and all that stuff. But you still got to put up signs, you got to knock on doors, you got to make those phone calls, you got to squeeze people for a bit of money from time to time. <laughs> and I want to tell you that I am so proud, once again, of these people with whom I am standing, not in front of, but side by side on this stage. We're going to work as hard as we can, we're going to fight as hard as we can. Remember what we're fighting for. It's about a lot more than just winning the election. We want to win the future for all Ontario families. Thank you.